we are in for a truly memorable climax to a magnificent day seven. Lyles is the defending champion. He's bidding to become only the third man in history to successfully defend this crown. Bolt went four in a row. Calvin Smith with goals in 83 and 87. And yes, just a reminder, the Statos will say, hang on, Michael Johnson won it twice. He did. His wins were sandwiched by the side of Fredericks' gold in 93. Arian Knighton bidding to become the youngest medalist or champion in the history of this event. He's still only 18 years of age and he'll still be a teenager for the entire season next year. What about Kung Fu Kenny Bednarek, the Olympic silver medalist? He'll go in five. Knighton will have the advantage of being able to see both Bednarek, the Olympic silver medalist, and Noah Lyles, the defending champion, outside him in six. But watch for Richards of Trinidad and Tobago with that brilliant strength and speed in lane two, the Don't world indoor champion over the 400, the the hoping to replicate at least his bronze from London five everything. years ago. Van Buller will go in seven, and RM Brown out-dipped Tortu of Italy by three one thousandths of a second to ensure we do have a Canadian in this race. Not De Grass, the Olympic champion. He's had a tough season, but Brown will be in it. And another glittering, glorious final awaits us. Jamaican women have lived up to all hype and expectation. What about the American men here? In front of a fever pitch, hungry home crowd. Aaron Brown, he ran with a picture of his parents under his bib in Tokyo. I wonder whether he's doing the same here. He's on the outside. He'll have to go lightning quick. Joseph Van Buller, 1992 in the semis representing Liberia, NCAA champion. He was just off the podium in Tokyo. Could he spoil the American dominance? Listen to this. Noah Lyles is becoming an icon of the sport. He's the Olympic bronze medalist. He's the defending champion. He is desperate to taste gold again. Kenny Bednarek, the Olympic silver medalist last year. Could he upset his two better known compatriots? He goes in five and he'll have Lyles to chase. Alexandra Gando, part of the Dominican Republic mixed relay gold medal winning quartet. He's in fantastic form this year and he's got 44.6, 400 strength. Watch for him to come through at the end of his tight. The fourth fastest man in history and he's still only 18. Fourth in Tokyo, does he upgrade here in Eugene? And if so, to what colour? Any medal would make him the youngest in the event's history. Jareen Richards for Trinidad and Tobago. Running in memory of Dion Lendor, his great friend and former teammate. He's the world indoor champion over the 400 metres. The entire island nation will be watching back home. As they will in South Africa, the Rainbow Nation cheering for Luxolo Adams. What a win in Paris for 19.82. It's a tight inside lane for the South African, but he's in the form of his life. Adams, Richards, Knighton, Ogando, Bednarek, Lyles, Van Bula, Brown. Noah Lyles believes tonight is destined to be his coronation as the king of half-lap sprinting. Can the iconic figure deliver, or will his incredible young teammate or anyone else steal the champion's thunder? It's the final of the men's 200 metres.
say. They're away first time. There's a roar from the crowd. It's a great start from Lyles, but Benderek's running well. On the inside, no move yet from Knighton. Lyles has got the edge here, and he's storming away. What a moment for Noah Lyles. He hates losing over 200 metres, and he's forgotten how to. 19.32. 19.32. He has smashed, smashed his personal best and produced one of the fastest times in history. Quite frankly, after 120 metres, it was never, never in doubt. He was tamed in Tokyo, but with the heart of an American lion, Lyles has roared back to the top. He successfully defends his world title and there was no one else in it. And listen to the crowd, listen to the crowd. The Olympic silver medalist takes the world silver and Knighton, at 18 years of age, does indeed become the youngest medalist in history. And the Americans have done the sweep only once before as it happened in Helsinki in 05. But this time it's on home soil and it's the perfect outcome from the perfect champion, Lyles, Rawls, and reigns supreme once more. That race was amazing. He got out and he owned the race from start. No one had an answer for him. And he stormed home on that, on that straight. American sweep. The Americans, just as the Jamaicans have just done, have solidified themselves on this day, on this night, as the sprint champions, 100 meters and 200 meters. Dan, individually and collectively, one of the greatest nights for American track and field, surely, surely. Absolutely, Rob, just, it's absolutely amazing. Just, it's just what we needed here in the United States. We've been talking about it all week long. You know, what's it gonna take to put more eyeballs on the sport of track and field in the United States? And it's moments like that that are gonna show up on the ESPN top 10 of the of the day, certainly. But I, it, I just tell you what, Noah Lyles, you, you, you say to your, you say to somebody, hey, look, if you're gonna, if you're gonna talk the talk, you better walk the walk. You're gonna, you're gonna act like a champion. You better give me a championship effort. And Noah Lyles just proved why he is the champion. I didn't think we had seen his best running this season, and he left absolutely no doubt who was the absolute best runner on the track tonight. And just to mop up exactly where he now sits, I think he is already an icon. He is already. <laughs> by the way, by the way, it's rounded down.